Hey, it's Lindsay. Up next, I have a full fitness class. It's gonna be four parts. It's gonna work your legs and your abs. It requires no equipment, so it can be done anywhere. Let's get flexy and strong. Today, we're gonna be doing a cardio warm up, 10 minutes total. We're gonna be alternating each 30 second exercise with 30 seconds of tucked arm pulses. So we're gonna be on the ground, tucking and pulsing. Are you guys ready? Let's do it. First exercise, touchdown squat jumps, starting in three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, and tucked arm pulses. Three, two, one, and big scissors. And back to tucked arm pulses. Keep it up, you guys. If you need to scale this back a little bit, you can put your feet on the ground. And next exercise, jump kicks. If you need to make this a little bit easier, you can stay on the ground. Just a little, little kicks. And back to tucked arm pulses. Good, next exercise, mountain climbers. And tucked arm pulses again. And back to the beginning, touchdown squat jumps. Three, 
three, two, one. Back to those tucked arm pulses. And remember, if you need to take it back, put those feet on the ground. And big scissors next. These are a great core exercise and good for flexibility. and tucked arm pulses. Good. Next, jump kicks. Good, back to those tucked arm pulses. Only a few more. And Bicycles. Good, feel the burn in your abs. Good, tucked arm pulses. Second to last one. And mountain climbers. And last one. Okay, we're gonna make it. Good job, you guys, almost there. And rest. Good, let's stretch it out. Spend a few minutes stretching out our stomach. Nice work. Okay, so next we have a bunch of strength stuff. It's three sets of five, candlestick roll to stands, and single leg squats on each side.
Okay, so for candlestick roll to stands, we're gonna start at the end of our mat, roll back and stand back up. So here we go. Roll back to candlestick, stand back up. Next, one more. Good. Let's do another one. Good, keep going. Good, and last one. Good, that was five. Now, single leg squats. We're gonna be balancing on one foot. If you need to, you can always put the foot down in front of you, but if you can, keep it up. So, we're gonna be here, squatting down and up. Good. Down and up. Down and up. And if you can see, I'm staying in line. And let's do the other side. And last one. Good. And back to the candlestick, roll to stands. Four. Last one. And five. Nice. And single leg squats. Good. Other side. Good. Last round. Candlestick. Roll up. Candlestick. Roll up. This will be three. And number four. Last one. Five. Good. And five on each side for our last single leg squats. Okay, and last side. That's three, two more, four, and five. Okay, good job. Okay, so for our last part, we have our high intensity intervals. So it's gonna be 30 seconds for each exercise. We have a bunch of leg exercises and a couple ab exercises. So let's get started. First one is sit up pulses. Here we go. Let's go ahead and do frog pulses. And go. Trying to get our chin all the way up to the ceiling. Next exercise, sumo squat pulses. So wide leg squat, we're gonna be pulsing. Good. Notice how I'm not on my toes like this. 
I'm back in my heels and midfoot. And we're pulsing. Good, keep it up, 10 seconds. Trying to keep my chest up. And heel raises. This is our easy 30 seconds to recover. We're gonna need it later. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, and frog jumps. Okay, good job. Nine seconds. Okay, now we're really gonna feel the burn. Next is lunge pulses, starting on our left leg and pulsing. Hold it there, you can do it. If you do need to take a break, just step back and go right back into it when you're ready. Good, 10 seconds, you can do it. And here we go, other leg, and go. Need a break, go ahead and break, and go back into it. Whew. This is a good burn. And next we'll be going back to sit up pulses. And go. And into sumo squats. Good. 10 seconds. Trying to keep that chest up nice and high. Three, two, one. And heel raises. Whew, that's a nice break. Good job, you're doing it. Here we go into the last section. So frog jumps, lunge pulses, and then lunge pulses. And here we go, frog jumps. And lunge pulses, and we can do it. This is the last part. Good, keep pulsing. Only 20 seconds. Ten seconds. Three. Two, one, and shake it out really quick. And switch. And pulsing, last leg. 
Last exercise before flexibility. Three, two, one, good. Good job with that. Next, we're gonna be starting our flexibility. We have five exercises and we're gonna stretch it out so we feel nice and ready to go for tomorrow. Okay, good job. Our last part is gonna be flexibility. It's gonna be five minutes total, one minute each exercise, and we're gonna be starting that right now. Okay, here we go, See, standing pike. So trying to keep our legs straight and bending over to reach your toes. Even if you can only go down this far, that's perfectly fine. Thirty more seconds. Good, and if you want to, you can bend and straighten again to see if you can get a better stretch. Okay, next exercise, seated leg crossover. Let's cross it over. And a good goal for this is to try and keep your back straight. You don't wanna be hunched over like this. You wanna keep your back straight and you're pressing your chest to your shin your calf. Ten more seconds. And switch sides. Next stretches are gonna be called the couch stretch. So we're gonna be kneeling with one leg up behind us. And we're pulling that back foot towards us. Here we go. So kneeling, pushing our hips forward, but keeping them square. And then you're pulling that leg up and trying to get it towards your butt, but not trying to open your hips. Try to keep your hips nice and square. You should be feeling a great stretch right here in your quad. And especially after what we just did, we need it. Ten seconds. And last stretch, other leg, couch stretch. Oh.
30 seconds. Really feeling that stretch last little bit, pull it up towards you, keeping those hips square. And three, two, one, and time. Okay, good job today, you guys. That was a great workout for our legs and our abs. Nice work today. Thanks for working out with me. Let me know in the comments on a scale of one to 10 how hard that workout was for you. Also, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you can see more daily workouts just like today's. See you tomorrow.